the question says that there is a, a corn cob, as you can see in the figure, is shaped like a cone and has the radius of its broadest, that means the bottom, right? The bottom as 2.1 centimeter and the length here, length, length is the height, it's 20 centimeter. Further, it says that if each one centimeter square of this surface of this corn cob carries an average of four grains. It means to say that if I have some one centimeter square area and there are how many grains? It says there are four, four grains in total. One, two, three, four. We have to find the total number of grains in the entire cob. So what we have to do in this case, we need to find the curve surface area. Why curve surface area? Because the grains are not present at the base, right? You must have uh, seen a corn cob. The grains are not present at the base. That's why we are finding the curve surface area in this case and not the total surface area. It means to say, like say for example, if I take uh, its base, let's say, The base, the base does not have grains present in them. And that's why we are finding its curve surface area. Continuing with this question, as what are the information we have? We have a radius as uh, 2.1 centimeter and the height, which is given as 20 centimeter. You should know the height here, all the mentioned length here is the vertical height, right? Now we have to, you know, we know that for curve surface area, calculating the curve surface area of a cone, the formula is pi r l. It means we need to get l. So knowing that l square is equal to r square plus h square, we are going to replace this value r with 2.1, the whole square plus h, which is 20 in this case as 20 square. 2.1 square of 21 is uh, 441. So it will give you 4.41. And square of 20 is 400. So therefore, L square comes out to be 404.41. Now then you will have to find the uh, L, which is the square root of this. So that will give you 404.41 and the square root of this. So therefore, L comes out to be under root of this, which is 20.41 centimeter once you get the slant height of this now we'll be calculating its curve surface area using this relation we are going to cal calculate the curve surface area and their curve surface area pi we can take pi here as not mentioned so it's 22 over 7 that multiplied by the radius which is 2.1 as for the question and the slant height which we calculated as 20.11 now we can reduce it further as we can see here that uh, this is 7 1 times and this is 7 0 0.3 times. Further, we'll multiply this. On multiplying these numbers, we are going to get approximately 132.73 centimeter square. This is 7 3 centimeter square. Now, what next? Once we get uh, the total surface area or the surface area over these corn co are present, what we need to do is to find the number of corn. As we already discussed that the number of corns, as for the questions mentioned, let's say uh, if I partition this side, so the number of corn is what we have to get. Uh, in one centimeter square, there are, in one centimeter square, in one centimeter square, there are four corn. So the total number of corn will be 132.73 that multiplied by 4 right because in 1 centimeter square there are 4 corn so this much centimeter square will comprise of this number that is this much centimeter square into that multiplied by 4 and this value on multiplying you will get at 530.92 so on rounding off we can say approximately 531 approx Right. This much uh, number of corn will be there.